Hey everyone, it's Becky. Um, I just wanted to do this quick little video just to kind of, I've had a couple of people ask me um, how I did my mouse traps and how I did it to where it I didn't get hurt. So I just kind of wanted to show everybody um, how I did it and how I found it was the easiest way to um, to disarm these and be able to um, alter them without getting fingers broken or pinched. So um, let's see. The first thing so I'll just leave that right there. The first thing that I did was um, I took this off. And, um, I just took my, I just have some of these, like, little pliers, and I just took, and I, um, kind of tried to bend it. Okay, so I took that off, and I just threw this away, and then on this part, um, this is the kind of mouse trap that I got, so it has, some of them have like a different center thing, this one, some of them you can break off, and then some, you have to like take this whole part off to get this middle part off, and this is what I have to do with this, so... On this one, I just took my pliers and I pulled this. I don't know if you can see. I just pulled it like that. Took like this little loop off the end of this piece right there. And then I just slid it. Let's see. You just kind of have to slide it, and it will all start falling apart. Um, keep sliding it through that edge, and as you can see, it starts just to kind of fall apart. Just take the springs off, and then here's your middle thing right here. T take that off and throw it away as well. And then there's your other spring. Now the springs you want to keep, and then there's this. And I took this all the way off like this, and then I peeled the sticker off, um, a couple of them, and then there was a couple that it was actually stamped on. So I gesso this, and I gessoed the metal, and the back and the sides, and then I gessoed the metal as well. Um, you don't have to do that, it just depends on what, how you're altering it, and what you're using. So this is all you're going to put back on. So when you're done doing like... Um, oh, and then with the paper on the front, the back's pretty easy to cut one whole piece. On the front, I cut it out the same size as like I would the back. And then um, I would lay it, I'd line it up at the top and then I'd kind of push it down, the paper down. And then I would take my scissors or my, um, my craft knife and cut and then make another cut this way on this end. Because when you cut it here, it should lay down if you cut it far enough in. And then cut, I cut again this one, and then I cut it. And it would, you know, it would, the paper would, the little tab would come off. But it would expose, you know, the wood underneath on the sides right here. And I also did the same thing at the bottom here. Um, that's why I think I um, put ribbon or flat back pearls. Yeah, I did. Um... I put the ribbon and the flat back pearls so you can see the edges so much. So, um, and then I put the paper, I put the paper on, on both the front and the back. And then I put this back on. So to put it back on, I just slid that through like this. And then I took, and you can tell which spring goes to which way, so this one would go on that, on the um, right side, so I just did that, and I put this other spring on, 
Now you have to be really careful when you got paper on there. If you do put paper on there because once you put these springs on it, it will scratch your paper. So what I did was I um, kind of just let's see if I can do this. I just kind of did that. Okay, that's stuck in there. Okay, there we go. Just try to get those to lay down, and you have to kind of push this. You have to push it down, and then push it through the other side, and then you have to hook that back on. So here it's disarmed. And then, um, so usually like this, if you do scratch your paper, that's why mostly I put the flowers right here, um, because I did scratch my paper on a couple of them. It just gouges it. So I don't know, you could do, like I've seen a lot of mouse traps, you just do different stuff. Um, so right now it's disarmed and this moves freely. And then that's when I did like my feathers, let's see, I did my feathers, the flowers, um, I did my lace, I did my lace around the sides, and then I did the feathers, and then um, I did the little tag that I glued on the outside of it while it was disarmed. And then to arm it again, to kind of hold it down, to hold the little notes in, I just um, put these back up on top. And it pushes it down firmly enough that it will hold the little notes or whatever you want to put under here, in there. But you just want to be careful that you don't open it and then forget that it's armed because that, that's where it'll pinch your fingers. So that's pretty much my little quick kind of um, eight minute tutorial on how I did my mouse traps fairly easy. Oh, and then um, the other thing I was gonna mention is after I armed it is when I did my um, my flowers and stuff. So just because pretty much that you don't need it armed or disarmed anymore, and um, once I had it armed, then that's when. I stuck my notes in there and then I just kind of left them, left them alone, got them arranged and left them alone in there. So I hope that this kind of helps on how I did my mouse traps and kind of like the easiest way I found to do them. Um, I know some people are kind of scared of doing them, but it's really, they're really fast and easy to do. So um, I hope you like what you what you've seen and I hope it helps and feel free to leave any comments thanks for watching